Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Still City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'm back. I missed you guys. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, <laughs> I have the usual bubbly, sparkling water, lime. Yes. I have some tahin, tahin, and I have some freezer surprise wedding soup. Yeah, it's hot. Mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I have some pierogies. I have um, two, two different kinds in here. I have onions, onion pierogies, and I have cheese flavored pierogies. And I'm going to sprinkle everything down with some thyme. Mm-hmm. Just to see what it's going to make it like, you know? Just to see what it's going to come out like. Mm. So, guys. I did not watch the Grammys last night. But I heard about Beyonce. Girls pillin' them. The girl is killing them. Killing them. Much love to her. Mm. Hot. Much love and congratulations to Beyonce. Because this latest album, she really did kill it. She really did. I'm not even that huge of a Beyonce fan. The songs that I like of hers, I love. Yeah, I really, really, really like them. And the ones that are just eh, I don't <laughs> at all. But... She killed it this last album. Mm. Mm. Through and through. Through and through. So. I wish her much success going forward. She's already the, the biggest Grammy winner of all time. I would just love to see her increase that. So that she can't be caught. Ever. <laughs> that would be sweet. Spinach. Mm. But no, guys. I was with the family since last Friday. Traveled to Ohio. to Youngstown. Mm. We had fun as usual.
This time I hung out a little more with my little niece and nephew, great niece and nephew. They are hilarious. They are three and two. Getting ready to be three and four soon. And they just, they, they leave me sitting with my mouth hung open. For real. Take a look at my nephew. Hey, beat your ass! I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your men ass ass. Put yourself together! Oh, oh, you go in time out! You go in time out? No, you go in there! You go in there on time out! You go in a time out! No, I don't want to! Then you better stop talking crazy to me. And you get over here and sit your little butt down. Well, <coughs> I'm grown. You don't tell me to sit down. I tell you to sit down. Yeah. <sighs> They're crazy as hell. <laughs> they are just too funny. So that was a big part of my Saturday. I was tired yesterday, so I really didn't get a mukbang, obviously. <laughs> and I'm still recovering today, so that's why we're having what we're having. <laughs> yeah, I wanted wings. I really did. I wanted wings. I didn't feel like doing it. I didn't feel like getting them ready today. So this was the easiest thing that I found. This soup, as always, as always after it sits, I could taste every single flavor, every single flavor in it, every one. Just unbelievable. Mmm. And it even thickened up. If it's a heartier soup now. I was watching the news about how, I think this was in New York, an off-duty officer bought a car or made a transaction to buy a car from someone on Facebook Marketplace. Gosh. 
The officer went in broad daylight. Dressed regular, you know, because he was off duty. He went in broad daylight to a wide open space area. You know, busy area. Took a friend with him. And the people that he was had made the car deal with on, on Facebook Marketplace pulled a gun on him and told him it was a robbery. Shot him in the head. He's still alive but fighting. That just goes to show you. <laughs> you can do all the right things when trying to meet up with someone to you know that you're selling or buying something from online. You can go through all the right steps. Meet in a public place. Meet in daytime. Take a friend with you. And still end up injured enough to be fighting for your life. That is sad and very scary. Because I know I told you guys about back around Christmas when I was trying to sell something on Facebook Marketplace. And the person wanted to change the location. And then wanted to argue with me about it when I questioned them about naming some landmarks that were near this place the new location they got mad and questioned me i said what's near this is this near a major landmark or what but i knew there wasn't because i was familiar with the area I was just fishing for information as to why they wanted to change up and change to that specific location. And when the guy said to me, why do you need to know that? Because I just told you that I only meet in public places. <laughs> That's why. And you appear to want to change the location and not give me the information that I'm asking for. Sounds fishy to me. I told him I wasn't selling anything. Forget it. And I blocked him completely off of eBay, off of um, Facebook Marketplace. Not safe. You know, you're just trying to do a little business and... People were trying to kill you. Just to take your money. Or whatever the product is. Or both. It's a very sick and scary world. Very.
well guys that's about it for me peace out my gastronomes and vampires i will see you soon